Also tonight, it is summertime and when we all shed our winter coats to get out and enjoy the weather. But this time of year, snakes are also shedding their skin, which means they're more likely to run into them. Our Kelly Sperry talked to an expert about what we need to look out for and what to do if you're bit in a story that you'll only see on KSNT News. When summer begins, we venture out into nature with our families, the home of the snakes, and the so-called snake experts come out of hibernation as well. But as Dr. Thomas Marcelino knows, it's better to stay away from snakes entirely, mainly because anti-venom is expensive and your flesh can deteriorate. They can be intensely painful, these snake bites. Um, you know, snakes have fangs that will inject the venom deep into the tissue. The venom is hemotoxic and neurotoxic, so it can destroy tissue, it can destroy nerves. The best things you can do to avoid a bite, don't wear flip-flops while you're gardening, and bring a flashlight with you when you're walking around at night. Even in the daytime, a copperhead completely blends in with its environment. Many of these things happen um, when people are drinking alcohol or, um, you know, trying to uh, capture or harass or kill a snake. Here's what to do if you get bit. Mark the bite spot and write down the time that you were bit and have someone try to snap a photo of the snake if possible. To determine how rapidly the venom is advancing, um, it can help determine how much venom was injected. Although larger snakes possess more venom, don't judge a snake by its size. Juvenile snakes can be more dangerous because they don't have that ability to withhold the venom, whereas a larger snake sometimes will, will have an actual dry bite or not inject all of their venom. <clears throat> And guess what? While copperheads have a bad reputation for being the most dangerous here in Northeast Kansas, they're actually not. It is one of the rattlesnakes that we have, but you should still stay away from those copperheads. Covering local news that matters, Kelly Saberi, KSNT News.